Hey everybody, John Hanlon here. Some of you know that I have worked for the past couple of years here at Wish TV in Indianapolis. I'm actually leaving uh, to focus full time on the YouTube channel. And we have a show here at Wish TV called Nerd Panel and Joe and Joy were kind enough to have me on to talk a little bit about Beyond the Brick. So here's what you're about to see. Boom, we're back. It's Nerd Panel and we, well we're actually filming or shooting on May 4th so May the fourth be with you. Oh boy, <laughs> I think she's a Trekkie. I'm Joe Malillo. Star Wars. I'm Joy Hernandez, and I like Star Trek. And I'm John Hanlon. And you like Legos? I do. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, we just want to. John's our guest today. John works at Wish TV. He is what's called an assignment desk editor, but unfortunately, that title of working at Wish TV is. Uh, tomorrow he's no longer going to be working with us going on to bigger and brighter things and a happy 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 place yes. Lego world well Probably. sort of I mean seriously if we could get paid to do nerd things I mean we technically are by doing this but it's a lot of work John gets to get paid because of his Lego YouTube channel well, tell us a little bit about it John uh, where did it start how did you get started with it yeah so I, I run it along with my brother Joshua and we started just several years ago picked up a camera and, and started interviewing Lego builders so there are Lego events and shows that happen all around the world and we feature all of the amazing creations that these builders make and so it started in 2011 just actually as an audio only podcast then in 2012, we went to a Lego show in Chicago called Brick World and picked up a camera and started talking to builders there. And it just kind of grown and grown to the point where it's now, you know, I'm able to, it's able to support both of us. A million views, about 150,000 subscribers, one more here today. Uh, My mind is blown. John, <laughs> could you run, not this John, we have, we have a lot back. of Johns. John There's a lot of J's in general. Yeah. Uh, could you run the intro? And let's take a look at your intro. It's pretty cool, I think. Yeah, that's cool, man. How did you do that? Well, so those letters there are actually, so a fan who watches the show created those out of Lego. So those are real Lego pieces, those letters. We actually have the, the physical letters. And then we uh, got somebody else to do that little animation for us. And so that's the intro that runs before all of our videos. So it's been watched, you know, it's watched a million times a week now. And I, more, more I, than 50, 50 million times. And I'm, I'm sure you're by it. That's pretty awesome. That, that was free comic book day. We'll get into that in a minute. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's amazing, John. And, and actually, let's run a little bit of your videos from YouTube. We're going to look at um, a Marvel versus DC battle yeah. first. There's some Star Wars stuff in there, but Look at this. these are some of the examples of what you can see on John's YouTube page and his brother's YouTube page. I see his, your brother really, Joshua, really does the interviewing. Yes, so I do all the camera work, the editing for the channel, the publishing, the videos, and then he's in front of the camera, so he's the voice you see. Though really you don't see even him very often because we highlight the builders, and it's the builders you see and hear from and their creations that are made. So we, we try to really put the spotlight on them and what they make, and so uh, he pops up every once in a while, but it's primarily just the amazing things that, that everybody makes. So this was a really unique creation. This was actually in uh, outside of London, England. We went there last fall. Uh, this, is a, this is a different one for actually from Philadelphia just a couple weeks ago. But that first one was pretty cool. It was kind of a, a comic book battle. But this Did we just see Joshua with the yeah, Legos yeah, on his yes. hat? Yep, so that's him holding the mic there. And this thing is crazy. This is like yeah. a full body mech suit. Sorry, uh, I keep switching back and forth. I edited it that way because I wanted to show a lot yeah. here because I didn't know how much time we would have. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, they, that, that, that mech suit was ridiculous. Yeah. It was yeah. Yeah. fully involved, had like even fingers and... No, absolutely. It's 30,000 different Lego pieces, he told us. We got the Flash there. That's yeah. awesome. I know. Yeah, that's the Flash. So that, you guys are going to Denmark here uh, next month to yes. make a pilgrimage to Lego Central? Yeah, so Lego is <laughs> based in Billund, Denmark. And we are actually leaving in about a week and a half, so the, the middle of May, for a month in Europe. And hitting up several different Lego events. Uh, one of which is some time at the Lego headquarters in, in Denmark, going to interview some of the designers who who designed the Lego sets, and a whole bunch of other people there at, at Lego. Have you been there before? We have not. So this no. is the first, so this is the inaugural visit. Yes. Do they, do, yes. Are they going to be excited to have you? Have they have? Do they even know that you're coming? So we work we work with a lot of people at Lego, and, and we they do know where oh. we're coming. We're not. Right. Just, we're not Are you on a first name basis? With some of them, yes. Awesome. Yes, yes. So Lego has an awesome community team, they call it, that actually works with uh, 
fan media outlets like us and blogs and other YouTube channels. Um, so they are, they're, they're great to work with, and so we've coordinated this with them, so we're not just going to show up at the doorstep and, and knock on the door and hopefully hope someone opens Please it. Please take us in. We love Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hello. We're here. We own a YouTube channel. Um, could, uh, I have some trivia questions for you. Uh -oh. I, told, I warned John about yeah. it. Um, the first of which is uh, name just one of the names of the creator of Legos. The, the original creator? The founder of Legos. Oh, boy. Uh, well, let's see. That would be... He's got three, so... He's got three names? Three names. Is that uh, Christensen? That's his last name. His last name. Ole oh. Kirk Christensen yes, right. was the one who founded it back in the 1930s, maybe? In 1934, it was originally made out of what material? Wood. Yeah. Oh. And then, ultimately, what was the reason they um, created the block? Do you remember? Do you know why it, Legos went from wood to plastic? Well, I know a lot of the, the, the idea there is that they, they fit together, and the, what's called clutch power is what, how the bricks are able to stick together. Yeah, yeah. And so that is probably the reason that they, they move from wood to... I'll so take that answer, kind of yeah. Yeah. because right. you are the king of Legos <laughs> right now. And really, it was a, a, a machine that he found at a, uh, at a, at a show, and yeah. he was so interested in it, he switched his whole toy-making business into this leg into Lego bricks and he, and his son was able to figure out the um, and that's why it's, it's a three generation. Yeah. I found so much about Lego; it was yeah. really interesting. So. No, the, the story of Lego is really interesting. And their their factory in Denmark actually famously burned down not just once but oh. twice. Yeah. So that kind of helped. You know, once they switched to plastic and not wood, that uh, that made that a little le little less likely in the future. But, <laughs> but yeah, they, their story is really interesting. See, Joe's really just trying to audition to be your third Lego. Okay. Guy. Just yeah. bring me that's out. A, he just, just really wants to go to Denmark. We'll, we'll have you list. submit the application and, and see what happens. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. I think I, I know somebody there. <laughs> What's your opinion? Into the flash, John. <laughs> well, I gotta John, say, he hasn't seen the episodes. I gotta say, I, yeah, I, I, I'm, I am not the the biggest Flash fan. Nothing wrong with it, though. I will say that it's interesting because working with all of these Lego creations, we've we've done more than feature more than a thousand Lego creations on the channel, and so it's amazing that all of these different things, like superheroes and uh, you name it, we've featured something on it. So whether it's a superhero, <laughs> Flash, or whoever, yeah, the Flash. Uh, they they make a Sabaton. I'm putting a, oh, putting a thing out to so be on cool. the brick fan. Like that suit, like that. <laughs> Lego yes, suit. make oh, it a Sabotar Lego suit. Of, that, that would be, that would be awesome. a hell of a build. <laughs> oh my oh, gosh, how man. many pieces would that be? And then the clear ones that look kind of glowy, that yeah. would be so awesome. <laughs> Joy's like, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh -oh. Uh, I'm going to start building with Legos. Right you got to make it. You got to make Dude, it. Dude, I have a whole tub of Legos at home. I'm not going to lie. I, know. <laughs> I make a lot of Legos with my five-year-old. <laughs> I mean, we follow directions. We're not master builders, but yeah. we're at least, you know. Yeah. Sometimes yeah, you just got to freestyle it, man. <laughs> we swapped all the people out when I was a kid. Instead yeah. of using Lego people, we used the Lego monkeys that from the pirate sets. Yeah. And oh, we had the funny. monkeys living in the Lego house. And then we built more additions to the Lego house that they all lived in. Which is the whole point of Lego. Goes, yeah. Isn't it to be so creative that you can just do whatever you want? I'm, I'm going to brag. I'm going to have one little story. I just want a little anecdote. So I got my brother and I got into a fight over Legos, and my mom's like, "Well, you're going to, you guys have to share them." And we're like, Rah! "So she took the box and she dumped half of them into another box, which you know all the big pieces get are on the top, and the little things are, you know, the little crappy pieces are usually on the bottom. So my brother got the cool big pieces, and I got all the little crappy ones." I built, yeah, I was so mad. So I was like, well, fine, I'm going to go build something. I built a lunar rover. Oh, okay. Oh, my gosh. Yes, I did. I, from, I the, looked, from, the, from the useless tools? Yes, because wow. there's a bunch of wheels and them little bitty things because the lunar rover doesn't have that much structure. I'm we're just gonna, saying. We're going to keep going here. Yes, All right, yes. guys, well, that's it for us. We're going to go. John, we're really proud of you, man. It's been Way to go. With you, sir. Go, go subscribe to Beyond the Brick on YouTube. And if you don't, well. Follow along with what he here. builds because it's awesome. <laughs> yeah.